Amen. No matter what, God loves you despite how you feel about yourself, your situation. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's go again. Let's all stand up for the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask our elder Lance to open us up in prayer to speak a blessing over this service. And uh, praise God. We'll, we'll be done in two and a half hours. I'm going to leave 
leave you my peace. I want to leave you my spirit. Say that Holy Spirit. Holy spirit. And Lord Jesus Christ said like this to his disciples and to everyone who received Jesus Christ as Lord. He goes like this. Amen. Right? Yep. And all of us, this is you, this is me, all of us who believe said like this. Amen. As a light, so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. Amen? Amen. So if you're living in the darkness, there's a problem. Amen. Alright? I'm not, I'm not here to beat you up. We all go through seasons. We all got things that are going through. But it's time, say it with me, it's time to make a choice. Sure. It's time to make a choice that are we going to be children of God or are we going to be children of Satan? Children of God. Children of God, right? So as children of God, because the light now lives inside of you, God is saying right now, through Lord Jesus Christ, if you say that you believe in me and you say that you follow me, if you follow me, that means that you're following my life. Now as my light goes before you, you will walk by faith and not by sight. Amen? But if you choose to walk in darkness, there's something going on. Right? What is going on, beloved church? See, this is, these are those beautiful moments that is between you and Father God right now. Right? Right? Because it could be something as simple as something that happened to me in the past that I just can't let go of, and it's still trying to pull on my heart. Right now, God is saying, will you leave that alone? Sometimes it could be chasing after something that we think is so good. Right, Brother Brandon? That we think it's good. We think that, okay, I, I, just, I just want this healing. I want to be set free. But then the focus becomes this thing rather than Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And see, the devil loves it when we chase after these things that, quote unquote, we think is good. Because it's like a carrot on a stick. And that carrot will take you down a road that you don't want to go. But the beauty of our God is that when you say enough of this carrot, I'm going to focus on you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Get ready because they get better and good. Amen. The beauty of the LED light emitting diode, the light is loving, encouraging, discipling. Love, encourage, discipling. Holy Spirit taught us that. I am still really on to that, beloved Charles. I'm still trying to catch up and keep up with it. I can't. He's God Almighty. Well, I can't. So all we're doing right now is worshiping, and we see the overlay as far as loving, encouraging disciples. Right? Loving, encouraging disciples. And then God took it even gooder and gooder and showed our beloved daddies, right? They brought up their children. And see, this is why Lord Jesus Christ came. Lord Jesus Christ didn't come so that we can act all religious, high, and mighty, and oh, you're this, and you're that, and you're this, and that. No! Lord Jesus Christ came so that we can associate with God as a father. Amen. And as, as God showed us, right? We had Brother Joey here with the baby. Brad right here with Oscar, his son. And we had Brother Lance here with Brother Blake. And you see it. And God is just saying, do you see my spirit coming alive before you? Amen. Do you see my spirit that as you thank Lord Jesus Christ, my presence, my spirit will tell you who you truly are. But see, the problem in this world today is that we don't want to spend time with God. Yes, I did. The problem with this world today is we don't want to spend time with God. Rather than having our face in the book, people would rather be on Facebook. Yeah. Hours and hours. But yet when you have a worship service for longer than 45 minutes, people are like, oh, my goodness, if you ever want to shut up, i got to get some tacos. Right. That's a fact. It is. Yes. It's, right. it's the condition we live in. For me, personally, in my house, when I speak for my house, I speak for Trip, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 As a matter of fact, if there's anything in my life personally, that takes more time than my time in worship, in the Word of God, I get rid of it. 
Tell me that's crazy good, because I'm crazy for the Lord. Amen. I am crazy for the Lord. I am crazy for the Lord. You know why? Because he's coming soon. Yeah. How many of you want to still be here when we're raptured out? No. Here's a newsflash. You can't buy any bullets anymore. It's all sold out. You know why? When the rapture takes place, there's going to be mass murderers. There's going to be other chaos. Murders, rapes. Suicides everywhere. People that thought they were going to be raptured. And they're left behind because they were just religious. They wanted nothing to do. Remember what Brother Lance displayed, right? Brother Lance is stepping away from Blake. And then I played the role as a demon to try to get Blake to do drugs. And Blake said, no, I trust in God. Right? Right away, Blake rebuked it. Why? It's Holy Spirit. Say his name, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the only one that can prepare you for this rapture that's taking place. Will you spend time with God? Yes. Say with the old you. We're going to move fast, praise God, because I had no idea that Holy Spirit was going to step up. Praise God. It's going to be obedient. Amen. Amen. Old news in Psalms 44, 22. This is what it says. Yet for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. That's pretty sad, ain't it? Say it with me, we're good news. In John 10, 14 through 18, this is what we're going to go over quickly. For those of you who don't know the good news, say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If your life right now is so consumed with bad news or drama or chaos or emotion, I, I beg you, from, from the Holy Ghost, from all your heart, just say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. God promises that there's power in his name. You know, I'm a firm believer that sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, sometimes we can get caught up in a distraction of the enemy, that even in our prayer, it's tunnel vision, where it's all about me, me, me. And what God is asking of us right now, right now, Right, say with me, right now. Right. Is that as we call upon Lord Jesus Christ, that we're asking the Holy Spirit to examine you. Ain't that beautiful? Amen. How many of you ever went to the doctor and they put you in that machine where you have to, you know, lay there like this? Oh, you got your little gown on, right? And, and the thing is, like, I sneezed in it once and that's a bad idea. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I was in like a cloud of spit, <laughs> right? But you go in that thing, and guess what? It scans you from top to bottom, right? And then, of course, you get out of there, and then you just wait for the needle, right? And then when the doctor comes, there's no question as far as what he has to say, because they saw, right? Well, here's newsflash for those of you who have ears right now to hear. Pull on your ears. This is all for Holy Spirit, not for me. Right now, God is asking, can he examine you right now? Amen. And in this examination, God, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, he's going to examine you. And in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, the name of everything, I believe this with every fiber in me, that as we say this quick little prayer, Holy Spirit is going to examine you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, just like going in that little tunnel, right? And whatever God sees that is unfit, he's going to cleanse out of you. Amen.
struggling with depression, anxiety. God showing you. It fell off of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you believe it? Amen. Amen. No more going back. Hallelujah. No more going back. Hallelujah. I am the good shepherd, Lord Jesus Christ says. Hallelujah. I am. What noise? What noise does she make? I know, I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of the sheep pen. I must bring them in also. That's what's happening right now, beloved church family. With all this garbage, distraction of the devil, it's pure evil. This, this virus is the devil. He's so stupid that he thinks that he's going to go do all this, but right now, God, by the millions, I declare, is reaping souls. Hallelujah. Reaping souls. And hallelujah. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ says. I have other sheep that are not of the sheep, and I must bring them in also. They too will listen to my voice, and there they shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my Father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it back up again. Amen? No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. Amen. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I receive from my Father. Hallelujah. This is just a whole other level of life changing revelation the Holy Spirit's blessing us with. You see, Lord Jesus Christ took every sin yes. on his perfect body. Every sin. Which means you don't have the one that he didn't pay for. You ain't that special. When God says he took everything, it's everything, okay? You need to get right with the Lord. That means right. Well, I got one that he didn't. Oh, you need to get right with the Lord. He paid for it all, amen? amen. Well, Pastor, what about that? He paid for it all. Now, you, listen, I was just talking to a beloved son of God before the worship service started. I looked in his eyes and said, Is Jesus Christ the Lord? He said, Yes, he is. I said, so do you own your past or does he own it? He owns it. He owns it. He owns it. Amen. He owns it. Say the name, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. And I love this because there's, there's, this, there's this teaching, I, I, and I don't understand as far as how people follow this type of teaching, but there's this teaching saying that the devil killed the Lord Jesus. Review that in Jesus. Here's the scripture right here yeah. in black and white and a little bit of green and yellow. Yeah. It wouldn't be me if there wasn't all the colors. <laughs> right? Let's repeat that. I have authority to lay it down. Right. Amen? It starts off by saying no. When God says no one, does that mean nobody at all? No one takes it from me. Amen? So, see, this is the beauty of your, your relationship with God Almighty. If you want to lay something down at the feet of Lord Jesus Christ, how many of you, how many of you are prepared to live a life of abundance? Amen. So in Psalms 44, 22, we're going to keep repeating this because Holy Spirit says so. In the old news, it said, yes, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. But then Lord Jesus Christ says, I am the great shepherd. And my sheep know my voice. Can we hear amen? Amen. I just want to show you the sheep that was slaughtered. That's right. For you. For me. My question to you is, I don't know where you're at right now in your season of your life. I don't know if you're struggling with any type of addiction that keeps pulling on you. The reality, the harsh reality is, is that there's a heaven and there is a hell. Amen. And in this fallen world that we live in, where the devil likes to rest, and I, and I mean this, rest in your life, is in the gray areas where you think that you can be a certain way and God doesn't know about it. He knows everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, anointed beloved children of God. Yeah, I know you know that. Holy Spirit anointing, amen? amen. But if you notice that if you continue to live this way and allow the enemy to keep on doing what he's doing, you'll either fall away from the church. And when I say fall away, you want no fellowship whatsoever. 
whatsoever. You are so deceived in pride that you're just going to go, I, I don't want no nothing to do with anything. And the devil says, yes, now I can start destroying your life. Or you can say, Father, I hear you, and I like doing this thing, and I actually, I don't know why, but I keep getting pulled towards wanting to do this, but I know it's from the pit of hell. I don't want to do it any longer. Help me. Amen. Can you say it with me? Help me. Yeah. Now, there's many that ask for help, but don't really want it. I'm talking to the ones right now that we really want. Amen. Tonight is the night for you to make your mind up to say, Father, I'm going to crucify these thoughts, and no longer am I going to allow this devil to put this on me. Amen. Well, Brother Joy, what do you mean? How, how, how can you do that? How easy is it? It's not easy. It's a fight. It's a fight because I guarantee you that once you lay it down, before you even hit those doors, the thought's going to come. But when that thought comes, it's a test. Are you going to continue thinking about it like your old self? Or are you going to capture that thought and say, Father, I thank you that this thought came, but I rejoice because, Lord Jesus Christ, you were slaughtered for this very thing that's trying to torment you.
God was reading it to me, okay? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, hardship, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, sword? <laughs> Can I add something else in there? COVID? Verse 36 touches. 
to on Psalm 44, 22. Yes. Right? Now we're in the next verse. Say with me, next verse. Next verse. What does God have to say about what he just wrote in Psalms 44, 22? And now here it is in Romans 8, verse 36. God is saying right here in verse 37, look, no. no. Say with me, no. no. What did he say no to? He said no to this. Right. You're not going to face death all day long. You are not going to be considered a sheep being slaughtered. You know why? Jesus Christ is the Father. Amen.
John 14, 6, we just said, the way, the truth, and life. Only way to the Father. Hallelujah. The Father is on the other side of this door. The only way to the Father is through this door. And the only way His name is Lord Jesus Christ.
neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height or depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. Hallelujah. That is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.